Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Tuesday, September the 20th, 2022. It is 6 p.m. and I now call this San Juan Economic Development Corporation meeting to order. First item on the agenda is our pledge. Everybody rise for our Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll we'll call. We'll start with Ms. Martha. Juan Cabrera, General Counsel. Ben Alcona. Ms. Guajardo. Arturo Guajardo Jr. Marco Villegas. Thank you all. Next item is number four, public comments. Ms. Martha, do we have anybody signed up for public comments? Okay. With that, then we will move on to number five, our director's report, Mr. Arjona. Good afternoon. Uh, I don't have a whole bunch of items, but the number one is that the, uh, we had our grounds breaking uh, for the uh, partial recreation uh, complex last uh, September the 9th. Uh, it was a very well put down event. It was a great event, uh, nice ground breaking. It'll be something great for the whole community in the area. Thank you for assisting. Uh, um, we also have a retail leakage study that, that was created by Mr. Alex Mead and Jesse Osuna, it's, it's before you on the, uh, on the, um, on your packet. And I highlighted it what, uh, we discussed at the, at the meeting that I had with Mr. Osuna. And later they can come back and give you a more detailed explanation on this if you wish. But uh, just so you'll know the, uh, and it's, I'm just going to read it verbatim mm -hmm. there. So one experience at retail leakage of $58.3 million and a retail surplus of $90.3 million, thus resulting in an overall retail surplus of $32 million. What that means is that the San Juan largest surplus was in the motor vehicles. We know we have the uh, luxury vehicles here in San Juan. So amongst all of them, that, that's where it encompasses a 90.3. So it, uh, the, um, on the other hand, the San Juan largest leakage was in the general merchandise stores, uh, clothing, clothing accessory stores, and furniture and home furniture stores, respectively. In other words, people from San Juan were buying these type of products in other communities. However, the biggest... Uh, Purchases here is on, as we know, luxury vehicles. So this is pretty much what we need to focus as far as attracting or trying to recruit some of the businesses in, which gives us a good gauge as to what we need to look for. Uh, and just so you'll know, we've been asking uh, Kia Ikea to consider coming to San Juan. They're saying, no, we're, we're not expanding south. We also reach out to Target. Target is saying it's, it's on the developer side, not on the uh, city or EDC side, but we're still trying to accomplish some of these. Now, the other stuff that I wanted to talk to you about is executive session that having to do with Target and some other big box stores, uh, such as that one. I don't know if you had a chance to look into this leakage study. Like I said, if you like, I'll bring the uh, Mr. Osuna, Alex, me to come over and maybe give a more detailed report on this. Uh, I know that Mr. Brian is here. They're also gonna be doing some sort of a study on, uh, when it comes to a leakage study. So it'll be uh, a little bit more thorough. And this one here. Yeah, I didn't go over the leakage study that I was ready to make. I'm a little curious because we're getting all of the data from the community. Yeah. Where's it coming from, Brian? So, State Comptroller? All of this is from State Comptroller's line item by line item. Nice. And you can get it by entity? Yeah, I just got nothing to do with it. Uh, Saeed, can I ask you something? Explain a little bit more about you. Sure. Come on up, Saeed. Saeed University. Okay. Uh, I'm Saeed Mulupati with the uh, University of Texas Rio Grande Valley, and uh, I'm with the data center. I've been with that for almost 18 years, and uh, we are the component of economic development and uh, governmental relations. I'm under uh, Veronica Gonzalez. Uh, she's my boss. And uh, I know, like Brian said, like uh, that study was done by uh, Lex Mead, if I'm right. Uh, but what it does is, like, when you ask the question, like, can it be done by line by line? It all depends, like, what they're reporting their in business as, like, in the sure. next score. Like, if they say, um, I'm, as retail, if it's registered, then it shows up as a retail. It won't, it won't tell you, like, which exact business it is. Uh, because... Uh, when they compile that kind of data, they compile it as a group within that industry category. But we can do a public request to the state like to ask for like more detailed information, like you know, actually like how much they can provide because of other laws in place. Like they can't release 
every information possible. So is this mm. type of information available website? Most of, most of it is. Like if you want more detail, definitely you need to a public request. And uh, Texas actually come up with a very good uh, dashboard, pretty much with for all different departments. Like controllers has a different dashboard. Human and health services has a different dashboard. But they give you like a certain high level data. But if you want a little more details, then you definitely we need to do a public request and it takes around a month or so, even sometimes even more than that to get the data. Like just to give an uh, like idea, like if you plan for something, at least you want to plan it that way. Sometimes you might get it early, but like most, it's better to plan it that way. So I'll go back a little bit just from my personal knowledge. So yes. A person from McAllen comes and buys something here at the dollar. How is that receipt tracked in Austin? Like how much money is from McAllen now? Like, no, it, it it won't. They would not know he's from McAllen. If he's buying it in San Juan, it's going to be recorded in San Juan. It's Juan. But it's leakage yes. saying that it's not a person from San Juan purchasing in San Juan. The, re that is, <laughs> the way that is calculated is uh, uh, they have a different parametrics. Like, for example, uh, like let's say 10 people are coming from McAllen to work in San Juan. And then 10 people from San Juan are going to McAllen or like Edinburgh to work. So there's a kind of different kind of study that calculates that value. So that's how they estimate how people are spending money. Yeah, mostly it's an estimate. And um, that's how you, you do it, actually, because and then they take into account your disposable income, too. And uh, certain level of disposable income folks go to certain stores and uh, certain people. It all depends on uh, different dynamics. It's just not the tax amount. Tax amount is mainly recorded where it is in record expense. President, I have a question. Thank you. Thank you for this. Yes, yes sir. Real quick, ahead. just to understand what we just discussed. So the, this is not based on what is actually purchased in the, these industry groups. It's based on people who, who are employed? No, nothing like that. It's mainly, the, it is recorded based on the industry. It's not recorded. I was just explaining how it is grouped together. But like, for example, let's say I go to like Walmart and purchase something in Walmart. It gets recorded in retail industry. Like San Juan has a retail, like this much of tax dollars, San Juan collected in retail, or this much of dollars in restaurant, this much of dollars in like uh, wine. And so it gets recorded in that industry. Back to the president's question, which yes. I had the same one, is how do, how do they distinguish it's a leakage? Leakage, is, that's what I was telling you. Like there's other parameters that get into it. Like for example, like your disposal income is considered your, uh, like where you work is considered. Like for example, let's say uh, Hidalgo County has a head seat in uh, Edinburgh. So a lot of people come to work in the Hidalgo County judge's office and all those places. So in the morning, like in the afternoon, they might go spend in the restaurant, they might get spent, all that. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. So because you work in that, in, in that city, yes. you're making the assumption that you're going to spend your money in that city. Yes. To, for example, as lunch, as yes. dollar, mm -hmm. because you're there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Yes. That is one component of it. The other component into leakage is considered is like, for example, let's say uh, you don't have a Walmart at all. Let's say, for example, I'm just taking a wild example here. Walmart is very familiar. Um, then people, Walmart has a different kind of study. Okay, from 10 to 15 mile radius, people go to Walmart. Let it be in like in uh, McAllen, let it be in Far, let it be anywhere else. So that's why like when a company comes into like when a, they look at the consideration of like 10, five mile radius, like how many people are living within that region. So you get people from other colonias into San Juan buying into it. You get people from one, like a far buying because it's the closest Walmart for them. It's not just in far. So that's how it's calculated. Yes. Mm -hmm. that, that makes sense. Yes. For example, when I work in, in a bank in McAllen, <laughs> close to a Walmart in McAllen, I Definitely. may Definitely. make my purchases in the McAllen Walmart instead yes. of the one in mm -hmm. Alamo that's closest to me where yes. I live. Yes, definitely. Okay. That's how it's going to be. Like mainly the leakage is actually uh, is a good way to look at like if how many people are actually going out to spend money from your city. So that actually gives you a perhaps, better picture. Perhaps, mm -hmm. perhaps there's some other country or possibly the zip codes on ATMs, maybe also. Could definitely. There, there is like, a, nowadays like technology is so oh, like uh, advanced. They can track you by credit card. They can track you by even uh, cars coming in. You know how your zip code yes, is definitely. To your, to your zip definitely. Back, yes. Possible another way. Yes, there's okay. by zip codes. They can, you can even estimate by cars. There, there are companies who does that. They track your plate and they tell you like how many cars are coming from Mexico, how many cars are coming from this, 
yeah, the, the, this advanced studies. That's from there, they calculate all that in, that, that's the essence of it. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just one more, just to reiterate something that Saeed said, and also what Ben said, is that the biggest tool opportunity for you all determine that what leaks from this community are those specific sectors and industries that you want to capture to bring here. So as an economic development marketing tool, this tells you exactly, I'm making this up. But if electronics leaking, well, then electronics store would work in San Juan because of the leakage that's going on. Ultimately, that's how you use it as a marketing tool for you all for recruitment. Absolutely. That was specified here. It was uh, general merchandise stores, clothing, accessories, furniture. Good, good report. Thank you, guys. I mean... Alex Mead and Jesse. Alex and Jesse. Okay, any more questions on that? On for the director on his report? If not, we'll move on to item number six. Uh, six one, discussion and possible action, if any, on the downtown revitalization plan. Mr. Chairman, if I may, just go back and real quick on the, we received the tickets for your gala on that PG School Foundation. Let us know who would like to participate or go to that uh, event so that we can pass, pass out those uh, wristbands along with the uh, tickets. What is the date for that event? That's on the uh, 29th. September 29th, yes, okay. 929. Venable. Yes. yes. Back to item number six, one, discussion, possible action, if any, on downtown revitalization plan. That's the that's the item they always leave there. The it, it will be discussed in executive session after we finish this. Okay. So uh, we can just go to the next one. <coughs> discussion, uh, I mean, uh, item number six, two, five, six, two. Sorry about that. Is discussion and possible action, if any, on approving EDC proposed budget for the fiscal year 2022-2023. Yes, Mr. Chairman, this is the uh, the uh, budget that was actually presented at the last meeting uh, with a couple of changes that were requested for us to make. And other than that, uh, it's, it's a balanced budget. As you see, there's about a little less than a, a million dollars that, uh, that went up from last year to this year as far as on the sales tax. So it was a very good year for the for the city. Budget over, right over the a million dollar budget, is, it's at, at uh, 1.5 instead of the what we had before at 1.2. So we had about a $200,000 increase. Number three. Oh, the trunk country. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, that, that'll be on October 31st. The uh, trunk or treat, as uh, we know, is going to be there in front of City Hall. Everybody's invited to come over and attend. Uh, there's going to be some uh, nice uh, entertainment uh, competition as far as who has the best uh, costume. So it'll be by departments and also by staff. So coming over, uh, it'll be it'll be a great family event uh, for all the kiddos. Plenty of uh, candies to 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 be given out. What time is that at? That'll start usually starts around maybe six six thirty, but by six. 6 p.m. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for that. I had a question on one of these line items, Ben. On um, other professional and paraprofessional service. I, I was going back to, I guess it's on page three, three of six. It's for, it's for the started at 72 grand and 19 and then it was at 74 and then I see it now at 170 what's the big difference that's okay. like more than double yeah uh, line item 34 and 83,000 you need to look at the far right so where's that one hundred and seventy thousand? That was twenty twenty one, twenty two. What was total budget? 
uh, but we, we, what we're actually uh, proposing is 83,000 on that. That number just shot out at me right there in the middle. I said, where did that come from? So can you tell me why, why that number is there? Uh, I'm not really sure why, why that one is there. <laughs> uh, that was last year's budget. Okay. Uh, and and as, you, as you notice, we have an 84,000 that the total year to date activity. And that's why we kind of pretty much, I don't know, there, there was something else there, Ms. Martha, we pulled out. Yeah. Buxton is long, yes, Buxton is long, no longer there. Remember that we made the last payment. Yes, sir. That makes sense. Right. That makes sense. So the only, the only professional service that we currently have is Hollis and the media group. But also the security. Then. Yes, we already made our last payment. Thank you, Marta. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. You're on top of it. <laughs> Any other questions from anyone? Or comments? Yes, I do see that. It's a nominal fee, but that miscellaneous revenue, what would that be coming from, Mr. Arjona? Do you know? 1599 could have been a donation, maybe? Because it's, it's zero all the way across, right? It's just, it's just that one 1599 and then another $100. Mr. President, I have is uh, Added those numbers up, and if I add it correctly, refine. Well, the promotional expenses is the bulk of it, right? And you know what we're doing with that. You can see it on the next page. That's those are all the sponsorships, basically. Which okay. We, so the promotional is all our sponsorships. Is sponsorships. That's is all sponsorship. our sponsorships. Okay. Yeah, he's got a breakdown right there okay. of all the sponsorships. Salary. Okay, so Look promotion, the promotion rate was 10% of the total budget. The 153,764, that is sponsorship. Right, and I, I've got, I added them up right here just to make sure that's what we were spending because we need to. It's right here. Okay. Okay. You'll know the promotional, it's 10% of the total budget. And then you can start do, doing, uh, like, like, for instance, the 4th of July, the mini grants, the Noche de Passes, the sponsorships, and pretty much that's what it is. And then at the end, we have an undesignated. When you're telling us it's 10% of the total budget, what do you mean by that? That we can use up to 10%? You can only use up to 10%. We always <coughs> use 10%. No, you can only use up to 10%. Statutorily, we can yes, use sir. up to 10%. Up to 10%, right. Okay. Okay, so then that leaves us with 82000 basically in advertisement. Yep. Now, those monies that are there, like if you notice on 2021, 2022, year to date activity and the promotional local, I mean, I'm sorry, the local advertisement is zero. We haven't spent anything, but we just wanted to put something there just in case we're going to do something with the air, radio or any other type of media. Yes, sir. Right. 
Right. Well, we haven't done it. Right. But it's there. But it's there. <coughs> and if you notice, last year it was budgeted 20000 We didn't spend a single penny, so that goes back. Yes, sir. I'll entertain a motion to approve the budget as submitted. A second. We got a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Next item is 6 3 discussion and possible action, if any, on attending the 2022 TML Economic Development Conference on November the 17th through the 18th, 2022. Yes, Mr. Chairman, as, as I discussed at the, one of the uh, uh, past meetings, that we were not recommending going to the TML because of this one that was coming up. And this one does have some good information, some good stuff for, for, for the attendees' uh, economic development. So it's on Cedar Creek up of uh, east of uh, Austin. Bass Trop? Bass Trop. Yes, sir. This one, this one does cater more towards yes, economic development yes, material. It's, it's what is in the agenda, is mm -hmm. what you're telling us. Right. Okay. So I guess you'll need nice to know by when, Mr. Arjona. Uh, the sooner the better, so that we can get uh, something there. Board members, so if anybody's interested in attending, please let them know in the next week or two uh, so they can make arrangements for you all to attend. Let us know. The, okay. Like I said, the sooner the better. You going? <laughs> that way. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Arjona. Yes, sir. Uh, no item, I mean, no action is needed for that. So the next one is 6-4, discussion and possible action, if any, on approving the sponsorship promotional for RGB Literacy Center, 10th Annual Boots and Bling Gala on Friday, October the 7th, 2022. Yes, sir. It's there in your packet. It's a, a dinner, dancing, selling auction. Uh, last year, we didn't have it. But the year before. Last year. I don't think we did last year, but we did the year before. Oh, I think last year, I, I know we had talked about, I had looked into some of the services that the Literacy Center provides, and it pretty much what I had looked at, uh, Region 1 and um, and other, even our school district provides um, ESL classes, um, citizenship uh, opportunity classes, so, so I was wondering, um, and, and I think they, the participants to literacy program, there is a charge. And some of the, I know the Region 1 and uh, school district programs charge. So I was wondering if a representative from the Literacy Center can explain a little more. Ms. Marie from uh, Sam's uh, Enterprise or Engineering. Last time that we did. What, what, what we didn't. I was looking at the year before last. Not last year. Year before last. Not last year but it's not on here. A thousand. The year before last. The year before last. Right. Let's do this. Oh. Like to have somebody here present. What? What? See, the problem is what? When's it? When's it? Date. October seventh. Uh, October seventh. We're not going to have. Do we have time to act on it at the next meeting and before their event, so that we can have somebody here to answer questions, Ben? No. But yeah, yeah. That, I mean, I, I was wondering. Was we anybody? Can, we can take a. Right. So we have like three days after that because it's on a Friday. We do it on the fourth. No, no, no. I'm saying, are they going to? Uh, there's going to be any advertisement? Well, I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll advertise all the donations. See, and that's that's one of the things. Yeah. Act on it and still invite the representative over here and, and ask him questions for the next meeting. Do it that way, like he stated. Make the motion to approve the thousand. Second. And, and a motion still. and a second uh, to do a thousand dollar level sponsorship for this uh, entity. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. To invite them to, for them to show up at the next meeting? Yes. yes. That's what I was going to say. You have somebody coming back to the next meeting so they can elaborate a little bit more. So motion carries. 
Uh, thank you. Next item is 6-5, discussion and possible action, if any, on approving the mini grant for Grand Slam Quick Oil and Lube for $2,000. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman and members, uh, we have uh, Ms., uh, Mr. and Mrs. Andrade here with us. Uh, they applied for a $2,000 mini grant for the uh, oil change. They have... You want to come on up? I pass by there all the time, every day, and it, I like the way it looks. It's real nice and clean, and, and it looks Appreciate that. Thank inviting. you. Thank you, sir. Yes. We just need you to show up next time. Yeah. <laughs> Stop, yeah. Stop, Stop by. Stop by. What is your address? Where are you it's 2411 North Veterans Boulevard in San Juan. 2411 North Veterans. It's not the existing lube place that was there next to no, the... No, we're about 300 yards south of Eddie's. South of Eddie's? Yes. Oh, a little bit further north. So that is correct. Okay. Yes. Good, good. How long have you guys been open? We've been in business... Uh, March 2nd was was our grand opening. Mr. Arjona was there. So we've been in business six and a half months now. We're actually doing pretty well. It's going good for you all? Going very well, sir. Thank you. Good, good. Sir. Glad to hear that. So you're contributing to that tax base that we were discussing. That is earlier. correct. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, uh, everything's good with, with the, the 2000 right now. That's the, the limit or what we give. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to approve. Second. We've got a motion and a second. The 2000 mini grant uh, for... The name is Quick Oil and Loop. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries unanimously. Thank we you wish you continued success. Thank you for Thank joining you. us. Thank you. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Second. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Villegas did first. Next item is 6-6, six, six, discussion and possible action, if any, on RFQs for EDC attorney services. At this time, President, I would like to go ahead and make a motion for continue with uh, open and review and demerits as a continue with all We've got a motion. Do we have a second to remain with our existing legal counsel? Mr. President, if I may, before there's a second, can we at least... Uh, get a complete application uh, if I'm not mistaken I, I remember pointing this out before and I went through the packet again and there's forms not filled out, at least one form that's not filled out unless you you all have it and I don't have it do you no. have it mr. Ohado? we didn't make it uh, which, which is the form you the conflict about. of interest which one the conflict of interest the conflict of interest Conflict of interest form, is that the one you're referring to, Mr. Contreras? I believe so. That's, a, that's what we're talking about. That's the one that we were supposed to wait. Yeah. Yeah, we made a change. It was back there. Conflict of interest, we already discussed yeah, we that. we had it discussed during the meeting. I guess when Mr. Contreras needs his signature. Absolutely. Well, I, I would hope everybody would need a complete packet. I mean, not, I'm asking for it, but, but I mean... Uh, here it is. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I would consider this an incomplete packet to begin with. But um, that's why I was wondering, so how do I have, did you receive it complete? And I know that we had discussed the conflict of interest. That's even more of a reason why I'm wondering why it still came back incomplete. Everybody's blank. They passed up on, or, or we didn't. We just yeah. The, the, the only reason I didn't ask them to to do that conflict of no interest was because that's the way they submitted it. So we just bring it back to you. But I mean, it can be. Let's discuss the last meeting, and we it will discuss right. So it can, it can be signed. Yeah, I, I did. Can I speak, Mr. President? What I didn't fill it out. What I usually like to do, just to not be involved, especially because of my role, is to have. You know, somebody on the team sent it to them, and then they sign it, and then, I mean, th there's no problem with the conflict, I'm certain of that, but I just didn't want to be the one to fill it out, so that was, that could have been just a mistake on my part that I didn't clarify. It's just, I don't think it's appropriate because I'm in this role, but certainly the law firm can do it, somebody from the law firm, because I already checked on the conflict, and there are none with any of you, including the, because it also aims a local government official, but we wanted to do it with all of you, and there wasn't a conflict with anyone from the commission or the director. Or if I may, uh, Commissioner, that that's been my concern from the beginning. Not not only did, did I point out that this was not filled out, this was how long ago? Two weeks, maybe three weeks. 
more and more because there was a meeting that was canceled. Correct. So and, it, it is important to me that, that these, to me, are not just uh, careless mistakes. I mean, these are serious no, mistakes. No, and, I, and, I, and I understand that's why he went up, that's why he was up in the podium and he was explaining that at no, in any, in any time, there was no conflict of interest with any of either the board members, including the director. That's what so he was satisfied, Councillor. You'll you'll sign that. Absolutely. Form. Okay. So it might have been just a minor. Do, okay. So we have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Aye. Aye. Uh, just for the record, can you specify that there's nothing in a conflict? Yes, sir. Okay. For the record. We just make sure we get it filled out. I'll ask again for a show of hands because I didn't. I wasn't sure how many people. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. One, two, three. All opposed, same sign. Aye. So the vote is three to two. Uh, motion carries. Next item is uh, seven. Oh, executive session. Seven A. The San Juan Economic Development Corporation will convene an executive session in accordance with the Texas Open Meetings Act, Vernon Statutes, Codes, Annotated, Government Code, Chapter 551.071, consultation with attorney. The time is now 6.31 p.m. Do I have a motion to so convene moved. to executive session? Do I have a second? Second. Motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. We are now in executive session as of 6.31 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is 7.47 p.m. as we are now out of executive session, reconvening this meeting for the San Juan Economic Development Corporation. Uh, out of executive session, board members, do we have any action to be taken out of item 7.2? I'd like to make a motion on 7.2. I'd like to go ahead and follow, let's uh, discuss an executive session re regarding the gen uh, project genesis proposal. Second. Got a motion and a second to go ahead and direct it to Juana to deal with the PRO architects as discussed in executive session with respect to uh, Genesis. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item 73. Just for the record, Mr. Chairman, uh, it's the, uh, the contract, obviously, but it's the Economic Development Program Incentive uh, Agreement. President, can we just clarify? It's a resolution. It's a corporate resolution. Corporate it's resolution as discussed in the executive session. All in favor, signify. Aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. No action on item number one. Sir, I'm sorry. One more. Item nine, there's a consent agenda to approve the minutes. Oh, oh. it was after closed session. Oh yeah. We're not doing the session. Just... <clears throat> and that should have been actually item eight because the seven was no way. Okay, it was eight. We were saying we said seven, but it was eight. Sorry. And now this is uh, oh, nine. Sorry. We need to. You need to reopen it. Reopen? Yeah. Okay. Give us the time.
Uh, Aries meeting is now adjourned. Okay.